Imagine this. Your app needs to perform certain tasks regularly, like generating reports every 24 hours, sending reminder emails to forgetful team members, or automating social media posts. These recurring tasks can be efficiently handled using cron jobs. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to define a cron job using the Nest.js framework. We'll start from scratch and set up a scheduled task that runs on a regular basis. Let's start by creating a new Nest.js project. We'll name it Scheduled Task. To do this, simply run Nest New Scheduled Task. As the package manager, I'll pick npm, but for this specific example, it really doesn't make a difference. Once your project is set up, navigate into it and generate a new module. We'll call this module Reports, because in this example, we'll simulate generating important reports every hour. Please type Nest generate more reports. Now, generate a service within the reports module. This service will contain the logic for generating our reports. Again, type nestgs reports. We don't need the controller's file since there won't be HTTP calls, so we're fine with this setup. Finally, we need to install the scheduling package that will allow us to define our cron jobs. Run the following command to install the package npm install dash dash save nestjs slash schedule. Uh, the schedule package provides powerful decorators like cron, interval and timeout to handle scheduled tasks within your nestjs application. Now let's configure our reports module to use the schedule module. Open the reports.module.ts file and update it. We need to add the imports array and include schedule module in it. By importing the schedule module and calling for root, we're enabling scheduling functionality within our module. Next, we'll dive into the service to create our cron job. Open the reports.service.ts file and let's define a simple method called generate report. Let's console log here, generating report. The actual implementation isn't needed since we're focusing on how to invoke a method periodically. Now, we need to annotate this method with the cron decorator. Here, the cron decorator allows us to define when this method should be executed. This string is a cron expression, meaning this job will run at the start of every hour. Cron strings are a well-defined standard. It's something universal across all programming languages. Let's break down the cron syntax. The first position is responsible for seconds, next is minutes, then hours, day of the month, months, and finally, day of the week. In our case, the job is scheduled to run every time the minute is equal to 00, zero meaning at the start of every hour. An asterisk simply means any value. Cron expressions can be more complex, like this one. But let's leave that for now. Now, let's run the app and check. But nothing happens right away. That's because it's waiting for the next top of the hour to execute. To check if everything is working properly, let's modify the cron expression to run every second, just for testing purposes. Now, when we restart the app, we should see generating report logged to the console every second. And there it is. But the best part is, with Nest.js, you don't need to master complex cron syntax. Nest.js provides human-readable expressions for common schedules. Let's refactor our cron expression to use one of these human readable formats. Now, let's add a new import. Let's import cron expression and use every second. This will still run the method every second, but the code is now more readable. We can easily switch to running it every hour by updating the expression like this. Nine times out of 10, we're good with predefined cron expressions, but that's not all. Crons are good when we have strict requirements that something has to run at a specific minute or day. If we care more about intervals, not necessarily strict timing, Nest.js also provides the interval decorator. Let's add a new method in the service and call it generate another boring report. Again, let's console log something. This time, let's use the interval decorator. Here, the interval decorator runs the method every 10 seconds. Time is defined in milliseconds, making it useful for tasks that should run on a regular basis, independent of cron expressions. 
So, when should you use cron versus interval? Use cron when you need to align with specific times, like every hour or every day at midnight. Use interval when you just need a method to run every x milliseconds, regardless of the clock. In this video, we've learned how to set up a Nest.js project from scratch, create cron jobs using both cron syntax and human readable expressions, and when to use different scheduling decorators. With just a few lines of code, you can easily add recurring tasks to your Nest.js applications.